Hello class, thank you for watching today. Today we're going to be installing a magneto on our O200. Uh, to help kind of speed the process up, we have already kind of done a couple of things. We have installed our timing pin, and we have got our timing can already installed on our propeller. Here we got Sam who's going to talk about what the timing process looks like and how we find our top dead center. Okay, so at, at this point, we would want to rotate the propeller so we can get the pointer to, the, um, to zero degree right here. Um, right now is already the piston is already in contact with the pin, so we'll make sure this our disc is at zero. Um, so now at this point we spin it um, through the direction of um, the propeller, like the normal movement of the propeller, until it meets the piston again. Until the piston until the piston meets the pin again. Okay, now we have it at a uh, hundred. And so usually all you do is you move the disc to half of whatever um, arc it doesn't touch or reaches. So that's 50 because half of 100 is 50. So at this point, we're just gonna take out, the, we're gonna have James take out the pin. So now we have it at half of the 100, which is 50. Now what we're trying to figure out if, is if we have our, our engine at top dead center. So we're gonna rotate it to zero. Make sure we get it just right at the spot. Yeah. So right there, we have, we have uh, our dial at zero to ensure that we actually have it at top dead center, which we do. Um, so, but according to our data plate, we're supposed to have it at 24 degrees before the top dead center. So, which means we're going to rotate this to 24 degrees before the top dead center. And we've got to be careful while doing this, you know? Go ahead and show we actually get it just right on there. And that's perfect. We now have it at 24 degrees before top dead center. All right, so now that our engine is set to 24 degrees, the engine is technically prepared to receive the magneto. So we are also going to go ahead and we're gonna set, make sure that the timing of the magneto is set internally. And then when it is, then we can just bolt it in place and then we'll adjust it, we'll fine tune it and make sure that it's good to go. All right, so once we get our magneto in place, we're gonna take our clamps and we're going to just finger tight these clamps so that we can rotate the magneto to fine tune it. Okay. So in order to fine tune and actually get your magneto set to the proper timing, you're gonna to have to utilize an actual magneto timing device. Uh, it's kind of helped to, to show you exactly when uh, the impulse coupling is firing. But the most important step is do not forget to remove your timing pin. Okay, so now we are going to rotate our magneto, rotate the prop. Why are you not? Okay, so right there, the buzzer is going off. So that is telling me that this is properly set at the correct timing point, according to where the, the 24 degrees that the propeller is set to, and at where the, the magneto is stopping the buzzing at, this is correctly timed.